Hey everyone, Jay here again with another uh, review slash uh, miniature showcase of the new Citadel paint range. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys the, the painting scheme of what I figured would be a great painting scheme to make salamander uh, marines. Um, to me, when I was, I was looking over the new paint colors, I was trying to think of which color would be the best, you know, salamander color. And it happened to be this uh, layer color, Warpstone Glow. I thought to myself, well, which paint range, or which of the, the recommended painting schemes does this one belong to? And uh, anybody who, who's into Dark Angels might know, this is actually the recommended painting scheme by GW for, um, for Dark Angels, which I, is a little bit understandable since Dark Angels are actually quasi close to, um, to salamanders in the color. However, I thought that it, Caliban Green is actually very close to the Dark Angels color, but if you did a very, um, if you did a lot of coverage with the first layer paint, Warpstone Glow, and then did a highlight with Mood Green, um, it wouldn't produce that Dark Angels color, it would produce a much lighter green. This is what I felt when I was looking at the colors. And on top of that, Waywatcher Green, I know that the other uh, glaze paints bring the colors closer together. However, um, Waywatcher Green has a nice yellow tinge to it, which I really like to produce glowing effects. So I thought all of these combined would produce an awesome salamander, but probably not the nicest Dark Angel. Um, so I did, I combined all the colors and uh, I put them together. And here is the resulting space marine, which I will zoom in on. I'll just remove that one so it's easier to focus on. So there it is. This is my salamander marine. Uh, as you can see, I just did the usual method. Uh, if you've seen any of my space marine uh, tutorials. So I started off with uh, Caliban green, did a, a bile tan green wash to get on all the recesses, or sorry, shading to get on the recesses. And then I did a, uh, a very good coverage of the, of the first layer, which is, as I said, Warpstone Glow, which cover all the years. And then just a very thin edge highlighting of Moot Green, which is a very, very bright, bright green. It's basically the equivalent of the old Scorpion Green. Uh, for the eyes, I did yellow, uh, just to create the contrast, and all the symbols, I did gold. Um, and I, of course, went with black on his shoulder pads and knee pads with the yellow. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. I think it turned out pretty nicely. Um, I'm a huge fan of Salamanders, and I actually, with the new rule set, uh, as you know, 6th edition was just released, I have the feeling that Salamanders are gonna be an army that's played a lot now due to the twin-linked rules. Um, I think they got a nice buff from the 6th edition rules and hopefully uh, a lot of people play them on the tabletop. So this is, uh, as I said, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. This is my first Salamander Marine. The color, I, th I think, turned out pretty Salamander-y, I guess, as you'd say. But, uh, yeah. Nice, and of course, as I said, I finished it off with a, uh, a Waywatcher Green Glaze over the entire thing to, to make it a little bit brighter of a color and create a little bit of contrast. And, but um, yeah, turned out nicely, and I used a, a, a satin varnish over the entire model to produce a, a, a little bit of, a, of a, a shiny appearance, but not too shiny. So yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out, and definitely expect a tutorial um, on Saturday, Space Marine Saturdays, for a Salamander Marine, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you did like it, uh, comment on the, in the comment section if there's any specific Space Marine factions you'd like me to cover. And uh, yeah, it really does help a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. And this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.